Hello. Good to see you guys again. Um, I've been watching a lot of posts and seeing you guys trying to do a lot of things. And um, also, I've been seeing a lot of misconceptions being propagated on social media and YouTube. And hopefully this can be helpful. I uh, want to try to correct some misconceptions. <clears throat> there are many YouTube uh, videos available that propagate misconceptions and misconceptions about what certain types of treatment do. These are often either made by companies trying to sell you something or people with ideas to share. Now, there's nothing wrong with sharing ideas as long as they're described by only as ideas uh, without without solid testing data, it's impossible to know what a certain piece of whatever treatment you're putting in will actually do for your room. We have ideas all the time. Most of them are wrong. <laughs> but we keep trying until one of them can't be shown to be empirically incorrect. And no one else can find fault in the idea. That's when ideas become a theory. It's, that's science. How science is done. That's when an idea, uh, that's, I mean, that, that's, that's how jetliners fly from city to city without incident. Safety records are very high. Our automobiles can have extraordinary safety records because they do scientific testing on these things. They do crash tests. Of course, this can't be done with your acoustic treatment. And there's no danger, there's no you know, physical or bodily harm that's going to happen from having the wrong stuff up in your room. That's why there are so many DIY ideas about this and that and try this, try that. All I see it doing is wasting a lot of people's time, number one and finances when especially if you're trying to DIY something you do it because you can't afford to buy a product or you can't afford you know a, a pre-made product or you can't afford to to hire somebody to to consult with you know? now I'm available for free cons consulting all the time you just have to schedule it with me I give you my first consultation for free I can hopefully set you on the right path um, but <clears throat> broadband absorption, I've got testing data, fiber or otherwise can only work efficiently down to 70 hertz. That's it, no matter how thick. Gas flow resistivity is not a valid parameter from which to calculate what any material might do acoustically. These are things we're learning all the time. I've spent over 30,000 US dollars at the world's largest reverberation room laboratory. And when I looked at the results, I said, well, shit, that didn't work out the way I thought. Serious. You, you see, physicists and acousticians can and are wrong a lot. I've said over and over that acoustics is counterintuitive, and then I go intuiting what they might do. The only way to know what any product or material would do is by testing it to the international standards as described by ASTM and ISO. You can calculate all day, but it's not going to get you anywhere if the data set is wrong or if it doesn't correlate to reality. Excuse me, bumping my mic. Impedance tube testing does not reflect reality in a room situation or any kind of real world situation. So you can discard that, honestly. It's, it's good to get an idea of what certain things do comparatively, but nothing more. Here are my comments on DIY absorption testing. I say, warning kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> It's not that there are no health risks involved, as I said, or other dangers coming from, uh, from, from DIY testing, other than coming to the wrong conclusions because of flawed data. 
some of my friends, some of my peers even, have written papers and notable engineers and producers have made videos about their DIY absorption testing. But the fact of the matter is you can measure for months DIY and never ever get any usable data. You see, just because you can get measurements without knowledge of how and why doesn't mean the measurements are useful or even close to the truth. You have to understand the science which involves a skeptical and critical mindset, especially when it comes to your ideas or mine. The best procedure is try to falsify your idea because if you don't, someone else will and it can be rather embarrassing when somebody else falsifies your idea, shoots your, shoot your dream down. <laughs> it's best to go out and put your money where your mouth is and have it tested at a good laboratory. Um, I'll, I'll, have, I'll do some more videos about that next. Um, I'm currently hosting a course in architectural acoustics, master class in acoustics. So please join us. I'll put the link in the, in the, in the description below. Yeah.